Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is the one sole goal of allowing you to actually use your competitive metrics and manual bidding to get a lot better results on standard shopping campaigns since Pmax has pretty much you know taken over shopping since Spark Shopping back in uh, last summer of 2022. And now in 2023, you need to actually know how to use manual bids effectively so you can actually you know get good results for either your brand or for the clients that you manage. So let's get into it. So again, the whole goal of this video is going to be a short conference of video is how to use your competitive metrics for shopping success. And we're going to revolve around two other shopping metrics right now, or the, the shopping uh, data points we can look at. One is search loss IS by rank, which again, this search loss impression share, that's what, all what IS is, and search loss IS of budget. These are the two main areas you should be looking at um, in pretty much most of your views you have. Now, the budget one is not going to be on anything other than the campaign view. So when we get to actually through a walkthrough of what we're going to do, I'll show you how to do that and how I do that for my own clients. So. Let's break these down. First, search loss and pressure share by rank. Now again, this is the percentage of the time your ad did not appear because of the poor ad rank, which is determined by your bid relative to competitors and by your ad quality. Now, overall, there's ad rank has a lot of stuff we can get into and that's kind of Google's black box, right? Um, just for the sake of this video and for how you run your manual bids, especially on the shopping side, when you can't really do too much on the ad rank at face value, you can do more of the data feed stuff and how you bid, but Main thing is how high is your bid? That's pretty much what you need to look at when you think of search loss uh, impression share by rank. Just think your bid compared to your competitors, right? Only thing you should think about. Then for the second one, your search loss impression share by budget, this is the percentage of the time your ad did not appear because your budget was too low. Now, this could be a, different, a lot of different ways of saying if you have a different, if you have manual bidding versus like, like say, T ROAS or TCPA, when Google kind of controls the bids for you, that's a little bit different of a situation since you can't really control how Google spends your money, how aggressive you are with that bid. Um, power for, in a sense of your overall manual bidding, that's how I'll be going through this video. So now that we have an idea of what the two main, you know, how we're gonna look at our data and how we're gonna make actual views off of this, you need to treat it like an equation for long-term profitability. That's pretty much the philosophy of how I look at shopping ads and how I think, okay, how can I improve this? Can I increase my budget? Do I need to pull back my budget? How does it all work, right? Now, for the frameworks, let's put over here. Pretty much, this is a simple equation you can use yourself. And if you if you do this with your own ads, and we'll see, we'll walk this together very quickly. This is how you want to make sure your CPCs are aligned with your conversion rates. So you have a, a desirable CPA that's profitable for you or your other brands that you have, right? Now, for example, if we take a dollar CPC. And we divide by one percent in our in our conversion rate. One percent again, right here. CPC divided by conversion rate equals your desired CPA. Your one dollar, one percent. We'll have a hundred dollar CPA. Now, overall, is that good for you? Bad for you? I don't know. Kind of comes down to the actual CPA that you need to be profitable. First order profitability, long term success with your LTV. Whole thing we could get into in our wool and in other videos. But today, this is an easy example of how you can literally. You know what? What you can find what your CPC needs to be, what range need to be in, or what conversion needs to be, right? If, for example, you have a dollar bid and you're pretty much, you know, you're showing up most of the time because your ad rank is very high, but your CP is way too unprofitable because you only have a one percent conversion rate. Well, then you know, okay, either I need to increase or lower my bids, or increase and lower my uh, conversion rate, right? So it's a very simple equation and shows you what needs to happen. Now, again, looking through this like actual strategy. This is where you need to kind of play with it. Now, let's say, for example, let's do another one. Let's do example number two. Two, let's say we have a dollar CPC, but now our conversion rate is 2%. Now we have a $50 CPA. We just cut it in half by literally improving our actual CPA, uh, our conversion rate, and our CPA is dramatically lower because you don't have to wait so much money to get that person to convert, right? Most of the time on Google Ads, you're going to have a little bit easier time to either increase or pull back your CPC and that will affect your CPA better. Um, if you have a great CVR uh, conversion optimization team or you want to you know, run through some checklists for yourself, CVR is always a place you should have your efforts on long term. But in the immediate short term, most of the time your better position is just to kind of play with it, play around through bids, see if we can get better high quality traffic we bid more or can we play the volume game and bid way less, let's say like 30 to 50 cents and get you know way more traffic, but they convert at a lower rate because they're not as good, maybe quality rise, right? right? So overall, that's how to think of it. Um, again, just CPC divided by conversion rate equals the CPA. And to make this effective, you need to add this as a decimal. So 
I'll walk through this with you here. Let's so bring a calculator in, which is example number uh, two. So let's say we have a dollar CPC divided by 0 .0, uh, 0.02 equals 50. So just make sure your conversion has as a decimal so you get the actual CPA. Now, again, overall you can play with it. This will show you what to do with your CPC bids versus your conversion rate, where, what area you need to work on. And then two, remarketing. Now at face value, your CPA is pretty, and your and how to use competitive metrics is pretty much this way, and this is how you do it. However, if you notice in shopping, like, hey, we just cannot get below this CPA, we cannot spend more money on our bids, our ink is our ad rank is set, and we're not spending more money. Well, can you do some remarketing? Can you have display dynamic remarketing, discovery, YouTube search, urban shopping remarketing? Um, just to get people that are interested in your products back to the site and have very low CPA to offset your little higher initial cold CPA. Um, that's another strategy we can go into another video. However, just don't forget about remarketing because you have a lot of opportunities in that nurturing space. So let's go through a live account and kind of go through, you know, how, what I look at campaign and break these actual things down, uh, what we just went through. So let's zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to be smaller, put it up here. So overall, if we look at this, right, the main thing I want you to focus on is this shopping campaign. Now, if we go through here, notice our bid or our CPC, 67 cents. But the main two metrics I want to show you on is search impression share, search loss IS rank, and search loss IS budget. So overall, we have these three kind of columns we can look at. Your search impression share is just telling you, again, how, of all the times you could be searching, you're appearing for these number of searches. So basically, of, out of 10 searches, we're appearing for six of them with our current bids and budget. Um, now, if we take a look into what we talked about earlier, we go back to our actual document here, we go at the rank and budget. These are the two columns we want to look at when we actually look at our competitive metrics, your search loss IS by rank is basically of the four searches that we're missing out on, we're missing out because our bids are not as competitive as other competitors, right? Main thing that's right there because our search loss IS by budget, okay, we're not, we don't have enough money, is 0%. And, you know, does that make sense? Easy way to check is what is our budget? <laughs> our budget is $300 a day, but we're only spending the last seven days on average 122. So that fully makes sense why our search loss IS by budget is 0% just because we have way more budget than we're spending right now. The main thing why we're not showing of the four times that we're not showing on average is because we're not bidding aggressive enough by our rank, right? So let's take this one step further. So that's your campaign level. But what about if we go to our product group level? Now, you should be bidding by like in your actual campaign by product, level, product group levels because you have different products in each group. Um, don't just have it all uh, standard unless it makes sense. Like right now, I have the same bids for each one. However, for each product that I've had in the past, like 90 cents versus 60 cents, right? Just at, this, at the time right now, they're both the same. But you can take a closer look here and identify per product what is the issue. You can see here for this, this first, say, product A, same search and press share, makes sense, 60% here, or 59% here, 63% here. So pretty much the same, 6 out of 10. But the main issue is our bids. And it shows here that product A is a little bit more aggressive on bids or of competitors. So this is actually 41% versus 37. So I could probably lower bids a little bit and still maintain in this product uh, B right here. But in product A, this just gives you another perspective and a little bit insights more like, hey, maybe one of the products is showing at your 75% bid and I can you know decrease it and still maintain most of my search pressure and, and pay way less. But now it reconfirms what the campaign view is showing and saying, hey, we need to increase bids if you want to actually maintain or maximize your overall search impression share, right? Um, so that's just a very quick way of looking at your two main competitive metrics, your search loss by rank, your search loss by budget. And notice budget is not available once you get off the campaign view, it's only by campaign. And this is how you kind of mix and match um, your competitive metrics for shopping. So just again, a quick breakdown. Let's say if I need to, you know, bid more, or this is showing me since I need to bid more for product A, I wanna say, okay, 65 cents is my average CPC, I'm bidding about 75 cents, let's increase that bid to maybe get to 75 to 85 cents, and now can my conversion rate keep up or even improve to make sure my CPA doesn't get too off, right? Because right now my CPA is about $51, and I want 1.0 or 1.27% conversion rate. Now, if I increase that bid, let's say to say 80 cents, if this conversion rate doesn't increase, my CPA is gonna increase, right? Very linear uh, progression with that equation. So I'm gonna like, walk you through that framework that we talked about. Remember the CPC divided by your uh, conversion rate equals your CPA. So when you do stuff, when you increase your bid, make sure your conversion rate is gonna increase with it. Otherwise your CPA will increase. And that's why you always wanna work on your conversion rate 
long term, like month over month, try to improve that per product, per overall site, campaign, whatever. Um, you should always keep that in mind. When you increase or decrease your bids, your conversion will be affected, which will then affect your CPA. So hope this made sense. If you have any questions on what we went through today, I know I talked a lot pretty fast, so I'll make sure I get everything to you. Let me know and have a great day. Thank you.